How much sin do you need to forsake in order to come to Christ? How much remorse do you need to have? How much uh, sense of guilt uh, do you need to have before you can come to Christ? And all of a sudden, repentance, and, and repentance is a requirement, of course, but the quality of my repentance can become the standard, the marker of my justification. And, and all of a sudden, I'm justified not by faith alone, but I'm justified by the quality of my repentance. And, and all of a sudden, it's a performance. It's, it's our obedience. It's our works. And you can dress that up in very fanciful, spiritual language that sounds very biblical. Do you need to repent uh, in order to be a Christian? And yes, and, and no. Yes, we need to repent, but it's not our repentance that justifies us. It's not the quality of our repentance that justifies us. Uh, in the history of the church, uh, this has sometimes been labeled uh, preparationism, that you need to prepare yourself uh, in order to come to Christ. You need to be in a certain frame of mind. Uh, you need to have gone through various stages in your recognition of your sinfulness before you can come to Christ. And uh, this affected uh, certain aspects of Puritanism, particularly uh, in New England uh, in the uh, late 1600s, early 1700s. And uh, Thomas Boston uh, was, uh, was adamant that this was, uh, this was incorrect, uh, that uh, it, it violated, it, it undermined the doctrine of justification by faith alone in Christ alone. Uh, Paul hadn't come to Galatia to um, offer um, religion, uh, a moral code of behavior that would produce a certain um, kind of citizenship uh, in uh, Europe. Uh, he, had come, uh, he had come to offer uh, a message of grace. He had come to offer uh, freedom in Christ. He had come to emancipate um, those who by nature are slaves and in bondage and to set them free to be what God intends them to be, to become children of God and heirs of God. 